Y'all, I am so excited today to show you how to style the ultimate crazy Bloody Mary. I'm gonna show you how to take your classic Bloody Mary up to a whole nother level. So I'm gonna start this drink off by making bacon straws. Quick tip, you wanna soak these wooden skewers in water, cause if you don't, you'll catch your oven on fire. So make sure these are pre-soaked wooden skewers and I'm gonna wrap bacon around these. So what you wanna do is take your wooden skewer and make sure that you use thick cut bacon. Thick cut bacon holds its shape really beautifully in the oven and it's gonna look awesome in your drink. So I have a piece of thick cut bacon and I'm just gonna wrap this around the wooden skewer. And you wanna make sure and wrap it really tightly because if you wrap it loosely, the straw will lose its shape. So make sure you wrap it tightly. So see how this is a little loose? You wanna kinda tighten it up a little bit. And then I wanna place this bacon skewer seam side down on an aluminum foil lined baking sheet. So I'm gonna keep on wrapping these skewers Bacon's a very popular food item in the South. There is no dish that bacon does not go well with. My mom would definitely agree with that. Okay, so that's all wrapped. Great, and we're gonna place that seam side down. And then I'm also gonna make these little mini everything bagels. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna make an egg wash. This is just one egg with a little bit of water that I whisked together. And I'm gonna paint these bagels with the egg wash. Beautiful. And then I have some everything bagel seasoning that I'm just gonna top on the top of these bagels. This everything bagel seasoning is gonna add color and texture and extra yummy delicious flavor to these bagels, the garlic, salt, and the sesame seeds. And I'm gonna put these bagels and bacon in the oven separately. The bacon needs to go in at about 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna put the bagels on broil setting for like maybe two or three minutes just to cook the egg wash through. So I have the bagels out of the oven, out of the broiler. They're beautifully golden, they look great. And I'm gonna build some skewers for our epic Bloody Mary. So I'm gonna start with skewering the bagels. And you want to just kind of skewer through the side of the bagel. You don't wanna skewer through the hole cause then you can see the skewer through the bagel. So you kinda wanna go to the side of it. All right, those look so good. Okay, now we're gonna build some more meat skewers. So I'm gonna start with our shrimp. We have these beautiful, large, plump shrimp that we lightly sauteed in olive oil to get that pretty golden color. I left the tails on so in the photo you can immediately tell that they're shrimp, but obviously when you are consuming your Bloody Mary, don't forget to take the tails off. And when I'm putting these uh, shrimp on the skewer, I'm alternating the tails in either direction. Try not to make it so they all look like all the tails are going in the same direction because that looks like we're making a shrimp cocktail. And I'm gonna put one more on the top just for some flair. Awesome, that looks great, okay. So I have our shrimp skewer made, and now we're gonna make our pepperoni. I love pepperoni on pizza, on all the things, but they're gonna look beautiful layered on a skewer. My best technique for these little pepperonis is to fold them in half like this, and then we're gonna again layer these going in different directions. Just kinda twist them around. So I have the pepperonis all layered. That looks amazing. We're gonna build one with olives and one with these really pretty grape tomatoes. And the thing I love about grape tomatoes is one, they're so sweet and taste delicious, but also there's different colors on these. So it adds some more visual interest to the drink outside of just your typical like red tomatoes. So I wanna incorporate all the colors. So I wanna do the yellow, the orange, the red, and see if you can, just for photo purposes, when you're putting the tomatoes on there, make sure the little belly button doesn't face the camera you want it to face away so that you just see the red of the skin. I don't know if that's technically called a belly button, but that's what it looks like to me, so that's what we're going with. I actually like to see the inside, the pimento in the olive, because it kind of gives some more color to it and it shows you what it is. So when I'm styling these on this skewer, I'm gonna try and face the pimentos towards the front of the drink so you can see what kind of olive it is. You wanna kind of put them in different directions. Okay, that looks great. So I have two cups of spicy tomato juice. I'm gonna add a couple drops of Worcestershire, however much you like. It's probably good. I'm gonna add some spicy smoked Tabasco sauce. A couple drops or 27, however many you wanna add. And we're gonna add some vodka. You can also make this a Virgin Bloody Mary. You don't have to add the alcohol. You can just do the tomato juice and all the yummy mix-ins. So I'm gonna put the top on here and we're gonna shake this thing up and I'm gonna try not to get it all over my pretty dress. That's how bartenders do it like this, right? All right, so this is all shaken up. We've got all our yummy spices in there. It's gonna be good and spicy. We have our skewers all beautifully styled, and now I'm ready to go set up for styling. All right, 
right, so I have my whole little drink set up here and I'm gonna show you how to put the finishing touches on our epic Bloody Mary. So we're gonna start with rimming our glass. So we have some everything bagel mixed in here, some smoked chipotle seasoning. It's gonna tie in all of our spicy flavors and taste incredible. So the first thing you wanna do to rim the glass is I have some limes here that I've actually cut a little slit in to make it easier. Kind of squeeze the lime and see how it creates that really pretty rim of juice on the rim of the glass. And that hit of lime when you drink a Bloody Mary is so amazing. We're gonna stick it into our spicy mix here, making sure to roll the sides because I found that when you do a rim on a drink, it looks better if it's a little bit thicker of a rim. Really kind of pat it into the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill our cup up with ice. The easiest way to pour liquid into a glass when you're styling it is to put the ice in first and then add the mix. So I'm gonna add some crushed ice. I think the crushed ice gives it a really beautiful effect. And I'm just gonna actually put it in by hand to make sure that I disturb this rimmed part the least amount that I can. So having ice in the drink not only keeps it cold, but it's also gonna help the liquid set up more and it's gonna help hold the skewers in the drink. So when we go in and put the bacon straw and the bagel and all those yummy skewers that we made, it's gonna help prop them up more. Great, so that's looking like a pretty good level of ice there. Now I'm gonna pour in our Bloody Mary mix. It's gonna be spicy and delicious. And the reason why I'm pouring this from a spouted container and not our jar is it makes pouring a ton easier and it makes sure that you don't get splashes of Bloody Mary mix everywhere before your friends come over to drink this with you. So no Bloody Mary is complete without a stalk of celery. So I picked the stalks on the inside of a bunch of celery because they tend to have the prettier leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this guy down in here. So pretty, I love that pop of green. You can also munch on that later if you like. I'm gonna add in our bacon straws, which we made earlier. So we're just gonna slide the bacon off the straw like that. I'm gonna prop that in. Cute. And then we're gonna add our shrimp, beautifully cooked in olive oil, make sure it looks nice and juicy. Awesome. We're gonna add in our pepperoni skewers. I'm gonna add that savory element that we've ribboned so well. We have our skewer with our different colored tomatoes. I'm gonna probably put these in the back. Okay, so we have two more. I'm gonna add in our olives. And you know what, for this one, because I don't want all of the skewers at the exact same level, I'm actually gonna trim this one a little bit. See how it's a little lower, it kind of creates a better visual effect. And then last, but certainly not least, our beautiful mini bagels that we have toasted with everything bagel seasoning, stuck out to the side. Oh my word. So this looks epic. I cannot wait to dive into it, but I also wanna talk about our scene that we have set up. You know, when you have people over for drinks, you wanna give them a bunch of options. So we have this beautiful gold tray that I'm gonna fill up this other Bloody Mary and style that one. But then I also have some extra skewers on hand. People can pick their flavors, what they wanna add to their drink, some extra bacon straws. I even have some extra mix if people wanna to top their drinks off later. And our friends are really gonna enjoy this. But most importantly, I'm gonna enjoy it. Can't wait to dive in. Can't wait to take this photo. It's gonna look amazing. Good. I want to see how y'all styled this recipe. Tag us at Pop Kitchen on Instagram to show us your beautiful creations and comment below and let me know what you want to see me plate perfect. Cheers!